Hi there, welcome back to the Second Chance Garden video. Today I am going to make some cuttings out of this gorgeous Peperomia watermelon plant. Um, I purchased this plant about half a year ago from eBay and at that time the plant was much much tinier. I mean this is still really tiny in 4 inch pot but um, it was just two sets of cuttings I guess. Um, here as you can see this is the mother leaf and here's another one right there and there are only a few leaves on this plant. Um, so even though that I really was dying to make some cuttings and experiment I decided to wait a little until I saw some, you know, enough growth going during the summertime so that, that I can cut off some leaves without, you know, um, worrying about um, not having enough leaves to look at. All right. So then a few months ago, unfortunately, I had this, I'm guessing at this point, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I had this mice problem. And I don't even know why they would have chew off some of my plants, but they did. They even ate some of my orchid pseudobulbs. It's really infuriating. And I had to come up with different placement of these plants to fight and combat that problem. And I was able to do so, but unfortunately, you know, uh, some of the, the leaves been chewed off. And I thought, well, hey, Maybe I will make cuttings out of these chewed off leaves and see how it goes. So I have this one being completely chewed off, as you can see. Terrible. It's really, really terrible. Uh, the, the one back here, too. Look at it. I don't even know why they would do that. So anyway, so I will start from these two and uh, um, I might even make more cuttings because I see enough growth coming, you know, from even underneath tiny leaves coming out. Um, so this plant is, you know, already stabilized and it's doing fine by itself. So I think I might be able to make more cuttings. So here's my setup. My usual setup, um, as you can see, I have a Ziploc bag to, you know, bag it afterwards. And I, you see two pots right there filled with seed starting mix. Um, the, that type of soil media is already sterilized. I don't have to worry about like, you know, mold growing or some weird things growing out of it when I bag those pots. And uh, of course I have sterilized sear and exacto knife also sterilized and a clean unused chopsticks, bamboo chopsticks, um, and a rooting hole I will definitely use this one for this purpose just to be on the safe side because I think leaf cuttings can take a very long time and uh, anything can happen in between. So I wanted to be on the safe side. I think I'm going to use rooting hole this time. So all right, let's start from cutting off the leaves that I'm going to use. Um, all right, as I said, I'm going to use the one that's already chewed off. Um, so this one right here, uh, I might just start, uh, I, I wanted to cut from the, the closer to the node. So one and another one here. There you go. So I cut off two leaves. Let me see if I can cut off even more, just to, you know, because I'm not really sure what my success rate of this uh, cuttings um, are going to be. Um, so, I don't know. I think I'll cut off one more. I don't want it to use, I'm tempting to use this one though, because this is like the, the one of the old leaves. And, um, I'm tempted to use this one, but I don't think it's a good idea to use the one that's sort of dying um, as cuttings because I don't really think that there will be enough energy in it. So let's see. Maybe I'll use this one only because it's just got a little bit of a browning issue here. And the, the otherwise, it, it looks fine. So I'm going to cut this one off. And if you can see um, uh, a little bit, if you follow this stem here, you'll see that the main stem and you see little leaf coming out there. So, hey, you know, um, there's new growth and I think I don't mind cutting this one off as well. So here we go. There. So I cut this one off. And let me just put this plant aside because I really don't need this anymore. And then let's take a look at these, uh, these leaves. So. First thing first, I mean, I really don't need this stem part, so I'm going to cut this even further. There you go. I'll do the same for the rest. The last one. 
so that the key to leaf cuttings is just to make sure that the, uh, these veins are cut across and get planted in the soil and that's what I wanted to do and you know obviously this chewed off part I'm going to completely avoid that so I would have cut it um, like here to put it into the soil mix and I will do the same thing with this one um, I'm, yeah never mind the chewed off part um, I would have just cut it like right here or so and place this leaf into the soil and this one since the only tip is a problem, I might be able to make two cuttings out of this. That's the plan because I already have two pots there. So we'll see. All right. So now I'm going to use this X-Acto knife to just slice these um, leaves. So here we go. I'm going to, maybe I can get a little bit closer. I wasn't really planning on doing that, but here we go. And I will cut the tip off first like so so that I can get rid of that and I will make say hmm I'll cut in maybe I'll do even bigger cuttings because I wanted to put this part into the soil and I do the same for this one there you go So these two can go in. And then let me just do that now before I forget the direction of it. I think that's this this is a soil side and that's the top side. So I'm going to use um rooting holman and um I'm using just a piece of paper just so that I can actually see the white powder um to use. I don't want to put too much. I don't need a lot. So there it is. That's the rooting holman. And uh, let one pot get a little closer. And I will dip this part into the rooting holman. Like so. As you can see. And uh, just shake the excess off a little bit. You don't need a lot. So just a bit. Here we go. I think that's good. I'll leave it aside and I'll do the same with this one. I wanted to put the rooting home on, ooh, sorry, um, on this side. So I'm going to put it like so and just shake off excess. And I think that's enough also to set it aside. And I'm going to use my coin chopstick to just sort of make a, not a hole in this case. It's like a line, two lines actually, because I have two cuttings now. All right, here we go. So I will put this aside and let's start from this one. I will put this like so right here. And the cover slightly so that it's secure. And I'll do the same for the other one. All right, here we go. Insert it into the line that I created and just push it down firmly, but not, not, not too much. There you go. So that the one pot is done. All right, moving on to the chewed off leaves. So as I said, I would have just cut off the chewed off part gently. Like so. And I will set this aside and get rid of this part. And I'll do the same with this one. All right. It cuts off very easily, so I shouldn't really put too much pressure on it. Here we go. Just like that. Okay. Beautiful. Let me get rid of that part there. All right. And let's just dip this thing into the powder before I forget to do it. I almost did. And uh, shake it off a little bit. Oh, that's all right. Looking good. And the, the second one, the same thing. There you go. Just dub it and um, shake it. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so the second part is right here, and I will do the same thing. Just try to create a little line to insert these leaves. Let me get rid of that part. It's a little chunk there. Okay, so two lines once again. Okay. 
There you go. That should be good. All right. All right. So I'll start from this one right here. The same thing. Just insert it inside and firmly push it down with the soil. I think it's placed nicely. And the second one. Let me just make sure that I have enough openings here so that I don't need to force the leaf and ended up breaking it. You don't want to do that. All right, here we go. So the last one right here, um, I will put it in like so. There you go. And just cover it with the soil. Hmm. Okay, there. Just like that. There you go. So the one thing left to do is to pretty much bag it. This soil is very moist. I, I might have just moistened it a little too much. So I'm not going to spray any more water to this pot this time around. So here we have two cuttings. And um, I think these are going to fit in this one gallon bag, both of them. So I'm going to put them both in here. And wait basically all right so one is going in so the other one will go in as well here you go there it went in nicely so i should have probably put the date on here and uh i'm not really sure i haven't done this before i've done african violet um leaf cuttings before and that took like forever it must have taken me three to four months to even see a baby leaf coming out. So I wonder how long this one is going to take. And uh, it may take for a long, long time. And I, I will probably forget when I did this. So I will probably put the date on here right now. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. And as usual, I will keep you updated on the progress. I really hope that it works out. This plant is really beautiful and this is one of my favorite and the more I can have will be even better. Okay, well thank you so much for watching as usual and please look out for other updates. Take care.